are about to start a course of training which will make you a member of the finest infantry in the world. We've got traditions which go back for centuries. We fought battles such as Waterloo, the First and Second World Wars, Korea, Borneo, the Falklands, the Gulf, and many, many others. Living up to these traditions doesn't come easily, and you'll certainly have to be schooled in the exacting standards required of the infantryman. The course at the Infantry Training Battalion, or ITB, is called the Combat Infantryman Course. It isn't at all easy. The training's designed to stretch you, but if you work hard, you will succeed. You wouldn't expect to become an infantryman in just a few days, and we don't expect you to either. It takes time and a great deal of effort from both you and your instructors to reach your full potential. As infantrymen, you must be exceptionally fit. The training you've done at the ATR will have taken you to a reasonable standard and will have to build on that previous training to get you up to the level which is required. That's why we make an assessment of your level of fitness soon after you arrive at the ITB. It will confirm that you're ready for the task ahead. The course at the ATR has been very intensive. There has been a great deal to learn and not much time to learn it. Some of the subjects will have assumed a lower priority than they deserve and will want to revise some aspects of your previous training which we found from experience tend to become a bit rusty. We'll deal with first aid. It's absolutely vital that you can help your mate if he's wounded and you're both isolated from medical help, as you often will be. NBC. We must be able to fight as efficiently in an NBC environment as we do when there isn't such a threat. And we'll be practicing this in the field later. Nine seconds. Remember, nine seconds from punch out to create a seal. <laughs> Map reading. Every soldier in the infantry must be able to navigate really well by day and by night. Your life may depend upon it one day. Drill. Infantry has always been famed for the brilliance of its ceremonial parades, and you'll be proud to take your place on parade when the time comes. Basic range work, which you were taught at the ATR, is a very good foundation, but now you'll be moving on to more interesting shooting, leading up to the real thing, field firing. You'll be taught to use all infantry weapons in tactical situations and whilst under pressure. During the course, you'll become skilled at handling the light anti-tank weapon, all the grenades, as well as the rifle and the light support weapon. In addition, you'll be introduced to the 51mm mortar and the GPMG. 
The infantry has very sophisticated signalling equipment, and you'll be taught the first steps on how to use it. Communications on the battlefield are vital, and by the time you leave the ITB, you'll be able to operate a radio during routine activities and in an emergency. You'll be taught voice procedure, call signs, message passing, and contact reports. On operations, the infantryman is in contact or in sight of the enemy for much of the time, and fieldcraft will be a means of survival. That's why we concentrate on fieldcraft so much during the course. Most of the syllabus is practical, and you'll be taught section battle drills, patrolling by day and by night, and finally, platoon battle drills. You'll have an opportunity to practice all these vital skills at battle camp. We talked about fitness training at the beginning of the film. Every infantryman is expected to go for long distances, carrying heavy loads, over difficult ground, and often in appalling weather. To be able to do this and to keep up with your mates, you'll have to be very fit. And by the time you leave the ITB, you'll be very fit indeed. Now fitness doesn't come easily, and you'll have to work very hard at it. It will be tough, but you'll receive all the help you need from the staff. And of course, you'll find it very much easier working as a team. Teamwork is a vital part of every infantry activity. Team sports are enjoyed by everyone and there will be ample opportunity for you to participate whilst you're at the ITB and later on when you arrive at your battalion. During the course, a long weekend will be spent on adventurous training. This always proves exciting and you'll develop self-confidence and self-discipline as well as strength and endurance. You'll have a chance to go climbing, trekking, abseiling and caving, and probably canoeing, sailing, windsurfing, and mountain biking. Every year there are hundreds of army adventure training expeditions, so if you enjoy what you do during this long weekend, you'll be able to carry it on when you arrive in your battalion. The climax of the course is Battle Camp, which takes place towards the end of your time at ITB. You'll prove to your instructors that you can handle defensive operations of war and fighting in built-up areas. You'll have an opportunity to test all that you've learned of range work. You'll fire anti-tank weapons, throw grenades, engage moving targets, and Firing all the platoon's weapons and with live ammunition, attack an enemy position with the support of all arms. The climax of battle camp is the final exercise, where the going is tough. Everything you've learned at ITB will be practiced. At the end of the exercise, you will have proved yourself to yourself, and to us that you are ready to join the finest fighting force in the world. You'll have had a lot of laughs, and will have made friendships which will last a lifetime. Okay, lads. Now completed the Otterburn phase of battle camp, okay? The eight days that you've now had here, you've now completed. So guess what it is, lads? It's 
Ende! Yeah! You will have earned the distinction of wearing your combat infantryman badge. As your parents and girlfriends watch you during the passing out parade, you'll feel ten feet tall. Perhaps your mind will flash back to the early days when you were exhausted on the assault course, wet and tired after yet another platoon attack. Or perhaps to the field firing, trying to concentrate on hitting the target. You knew it was him or you. Does all that effort seem worthwhile? Of course it does. You are a combat infantryman.